All right, welcome back, Walter Travis. I'm going to try and get straight to this because I'm really, really busy. Uh, topic is eternal. You are free from power of sin and have become slaves of God. Now you do these things that lead to holiness and result in eternal life. Romans 6.22 says, if you pondered what life would be like without sin, sin is not just a state but a casual effect. We live in a sinful world, and sin dwells in man, which results in sinful man making sinful choices. It is not escapable <clears throat> in this life. Jesus came and defeated sin and its power over us. Its power was death produced in us. We no longer, we are no longer slaves in sin, to sin, and can and do choose righteousness, and it is a beautiful thing. However, every day we still battle against sin, and imagine no no longer fighting the the prosper. Uh, propensity to sin what a great relief that would be it is unfathomable yet we have an eternity with god without sin where every choice we make is the right one not in defiance to god but in alignment with him what sweet respite it will be and to this beauty is of new creation healed in whole bodies and enjoyable race relationships forever you are not excited about the prospect of eternal life should be what about eternal eternity excites you all right there's your question take that for the lord that's what you got to do i'm sorry I, I did make the videos i was just unable to get them up here onto the platform so uh, i apologize and uh lisa i'm so sorry i have read your emails and uh they're wonderful i i, I cherish them they uh, make a lot of sense to me i uh, i get it i think a lot of people have the similar experiences in uh but I've just been so busy, I haven't been able to get back to you. Please don't be mad at me. Uh, I appreciate you very much. So uh, I'm going to try and answer you back real, real soon, okay? Uh, to everybody else, you are not alone. You're not forgotten. You are left. Peace.